Investing is simple, but not easy. It is simple because success depends on common sense. It is not easy because fighting our emotions is hard. We want to buy when prices are rising and sell when they are falling. But we should do just the opposite. The best way to own stocks is through low-cost index funds. Index funds own all the stocks in the market. They offer diversification. Diversification reduces risk. Index funds cost very little to operate. Index funds outperform most actively managed funds. Vanguard offers many excellent index funds. Section 2. Vanguard Growth ETF, or VUG, tracks the CRSP U.S. Large Cap Growth Index. This index includes large U.S. companies with growth characteristics. VUG holds over 250 stocks. The fund's top holdings include Apple, Microsoft, and Amazon. These are some of the largest and most successful companies in the world. VUG has a long history of strong performance. The fund has outperformed the S&P 500 over the past 10 years. VUG has an expense ratio of 0.04%. This is very low compared to other growth ETFs. Low costs are a key advantage of Vanguard funds. VUG is a good choice for investors seeking growth. The fund provides diversified exposure to large-cap growth stocks. VUG is suitable for long-term investors. It is also appropriate for retirement accounts. Section 3, Vanguard Mega Cap Growth ETF, also known as MGK, tracks the CRSP U.S. Mega Cap Growth Index. This index focuses on the largest U.S. growth companies. MGK holds about 120 stocks. Like VUG, its top holdings include Apple, Microsoft, and Amazon. MGK is even more concentrated in these mega cap stocks. MGK has also delivered impressive returns. The fund has outperformed the S&P 500 over the past 10 years. MGK has an expense ratio of 0.07%. This is still very low compared to other ETFs. Vanguard is known for its low-cost approach to investing. MGK offers a more focused investment in mega-cap growth stocks. It is suitable for investors seeking exposure to the largest growth companies. MGK is another solid choice for long-term growth. Section 4. Returns MGK return around 14.22%, while the annualized return of VUG returned around 14.96%. Although the maximum drawdown experienced over the past 12 years of this bag test was 33.59% for MGK and minus 33.15% for VUG. The thing is with higher returns is that it usually comes with higher volatility that you have to endure over the long term. In addition, VUG has an expense ratio of 0.04% and MGK has an expense ratio of 0.07%. It's also the other price you pay. Both expense ratios are very low compared to other growth ETFs and solid in terms of performance compared to the S&P 500. Over time, these small differences can make a big impact. Lower expenses lead to higher returns for investors. Expense ratios are an important factor to consider when choosing ETFs. Vanguard funds consistently offer some of the lowest expense ratios available, making them a compelling choice for cost-conscious investors. VUG and MGK have both performed well over the long term. However, like all investments, they have experienced their ups and downs. Understanding past performance can help investors manage expectations. It is important to remember that past performance is not a guarantee of future results. VUG's best year was in 2019, with a return of over 38%. Its worst year was in 2022, with a loss of over 31%. MGK's best year was also in 2019, with a return of over 35%. Its worst year was in 2022, with a loss of over 33%. These fluctuations are normal for growth stocks, which are sensitive to economic conditions. Growth stocks tend to do well in strong economies and may struggle during recessions. Long-term investors should be prepared for these cycles. Section 6 risk management and portfolio impact. All investments carry risk. Growth stocks are considered riskier than value stocks because their future earnings are less certain. Diversification is crucial for managing risk. VUG and MGK offer diversification within the growth sector. Both funds are well diversified across different industries, which reduces the impact of any one company's performance. 
diversification lowers the overall risk of the portfolio. Investors should consider their risk tolerance. Growth stocks may not be suitable for all investors. Those nearing retirement may prefer a more conservative approach, while younger investors with a longer time horizon can tolerate more risk. VUG and MGK are excellent choices for investors seeking growth. These ETFs offer diversified exposure to large cap growth stocks. Vanguard is known for its low expense ratios, making their funds an attractive option for cost-conscious investors. VUG and MGK have a strong track record of performance. But investors should remember that past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Growth stocks can be volatile and are sensitive to economic conditions. Long-term investors should focus on their overall investment goals. They should choose investments that align with their risk tolerance and time horizon. Remember to subscribe and comment on what fund you would like me to investigate next.